What's going on, YouTube? This is your backyard gardener. Today is March the 26th. Happy Monday, y'all. Um, we're going to start the greenhouse build part two today. Um, I've already went to Home Depot, picked up some um, supplies that I need, and we're going to go out and start putting it back, putting it together. So, I mean, this is not a DIY. So a lot of you might be wondering, like, why is she showing us how to do it? Because this is just you coming along on the journey with me um, as I make progress on the greenhouse. I'm not trying to teach you how to do it because some of the things that I'm doing to others might not be the correct way. But I know my vision. I'm not working off of a um, any type of um, plan. I'm really winging it. I know what I want it to look like in my head, but I don't have it written out, and I know the dimensions that I need. So, I wanted you to come along on this journey with me. Um, others might wonder, well, what is the purpose of a greenhouse? For me, the purpose of a greenhouse, by me living in Michigan zone um, 6B, is that it allows me to create a, um, a microclimate for my plants. And now that I'm growing figs, and most of these figs um, should be um, grown in zone 9 or zone 8, I'm in zone 6, so I can jumpstart my season because I need those 50 degree nights or better, and I need those 80 degree days. So this is going to allow me to really kind of jumpstart my season and it allows me to extend my season and, and not just for my figs it's also for anything in my garden you know I can start my seedlings out there and then I don't have to take up all the space that I am in my office because if I spit this camera around and showed you my office you, you'll be like this lady got plants it's overtaking the house so these things need to be outside. Luckily, I haven't had the problems with fungus nets off the soil because I've been getting pretty good um, uh, starter mix. But if you're a gardener, you know that can become an issue when you, especially when you start your seedlings. It, it does become a problem. And I want that stuff to be outside, not in the house. So... I hope you are, are enjoying this video. I like to welcome some of my new subscribers um, to my channel. Uh, Deborah, who has joined, um, not a farm girl. Go over there and check out her um, channel. Um, she's also joined, and um, it was a couple of more people who have joined my channel. So, welcome to the Backyard Gardener channel. I'm going to try to bring you as much content in the 2018 season as possible and i want to bring you quality content um so it's only going to get better hopefully and if you are a contractor and you happen to be watching this video when we get outside you might want to turn it off because you're going to be so like that is not how you do it but it's how i'm doing it it's my greenhouse and this I have the vision in my head. Once it comes together, I think you'll be pretty pleased. It might not be the way that a contractor would do it. And I work with a lot of contractors every day because that's part of my job. But understand that it is um, sturdy and it will be safe. And it's, the wind is not going to take it away. That's the main part. And the, uh, the, the other thing that I'm looking for out of this greenhouse is to be able to keep it installate insulated in my fall season and in my summer season keep it cool in the summer and i mean yeah cool in the summer and heated uh in the winter when i'm extending my season so again come on outside in the backyard with me and let's see what we get done today good morning youtube this is your backyard gardener this is day two of the build of the greenhouse what we've done so far is we've got this uh, cement border around here 
and we're gonna lay this two by four here across there just like we did over here and then I have to do some adjustments because I wasn't working with my correct lever I had to go buy one but if you look here wait a minute, where is that bubble see how that bubble is over that bubble need to be right in the middle so I have to do some pushing over on this uh right here so that everything will be lined up but everything else is pretty plumb and this is where we at let me put this uh two by four down here and when i come back and again this is not a how to um so i'm not taking you step by step with it but i'm showing you what i'm doing um in here so i'll be back okay so this is as far as we got today um I got one inch thick tongue and groove uh, board back here. I cut that to length. And I got a treated two by four with some joist hangers to hold that in. And joist hangers coming toward me. And uh, we got this other side done. And the back side uh, done. So this is part two of the greenhouse built happy gardening everybody